Hi guy, welcome to my channel. In August 16th second episode of Carnation Street the police tell Fizz State that they know it was Hope who started the fire at Alina and Tyrone's flat. Fizz tries to deny it but quickly cracks under pressure and begs them not to punish her little girl for what she did. She is later released with a caution and finds Tyrone waiting for her. Fizz is furious with him for throwing hope to the wolves and orders him to stay away from them. Evelyn forces Tyrone and Fizz to put on a united front and explain to Hope that the police will want to talk to her about the fire. But how will Hope react? Leanne and Nick tell Debbie that they overheard just how keen Ronnie was to buy into the bistro and reveal that they have found a cheaper proposition in town. Will Debbie be forced to drop her asking price for Leanne and Nick? In the Rovers, Ronnie is amused by Jenny's jealousy as she makes snide comments about Debbie. Meanwhile, Daniel calls in the Rovers' return where Daisy tries her best to impress him by claiming to be a lifelong fan of the poet, Byron. But her efforts are undermined when Ryan questions why she's been looking up Byron quotes on her iPad. Daisy is left feeling humiliated right in front of Daniel as she's been completely caught out. Elsewhere, Sally crawls to back Fergus, hoping to get your parking ticket revoked, but he gives her short shrift. In Speed Doll, Arby tells Kevin she's struggling to write her victim impact statement and he is very grateful when Brian offers to help Arby to express herself and find the right words for her statement for the court.